What's up, Class Evans here. I'm going to show you how to make the train wheel. Um, this one I find is a fun part to make. You've got a few steps. One is to revolve the overall wheel shape. The second is to extrude a pattern that you make. And then the third is to work on this little peg portion here, which that one you could easily do without me. So let's get started. So we want to start by making a part um, that we can revolve. So we want to make a profile. And if you notice in this one, the wheel is hollow in the middle. So in order to do that, there has to be an axis, and then the profile is going to be offset from it. I'm going to do it on the front view. I'm going to draw a line. This will be my axis. The length doesn't matter, so I'll hit escape. And then I'm going to start drawing right up at the edge of that work plane, my first line. And this one should be a quarter of an inch. So 0.25. Up. And then it goes out this way. Let me get a dimension on there. The gap here is uh, shown in a, the view where you look at it from the back. And it says that the diameter of the center is uh, 0.28. So we'd want half of 28, which is 14. Of course, you could put 28 divided by 2 if you can't think that out. Um, and I want this length here to be oops, from here to here to be 1 inch. And then I'm going to make my curve from there. So let me get a, a three-point arch. Oh, it went backwards on me. OK, I think I need to have a point over here. Let me draw a line here. It's a short line. The length, I don't know yet. Um, and I'll draw my three-point arch. See that symbol that has the little diagonal with the O? I do want that. I want it to be a complete semicircle. Now, I don't, I don't know what that length is there, so I'm going to delete that. Um, but I do know that I have, so it goes up about halfway. I, I bring it that so that it knows I want it to be that length. It goes over, and then down, and then Now these uh, lines that go in the inset here, we have dimensions for that. This first inset, it starts at a quarter. And the next one goes out at 75. If you're having a hard time seeing the numbers, there they are. Now, what I could do is I could revolve this right now and then go back with a the fillet tool because it says that the rounded parts of that profile are 0 0.0625. And I could do it that way, but I'm going to show you how to do it inside of the sketch. So I'm going to use this tool here, sketch fillet. I'm going to click on two lines. And, oh, I guess I have it there from before. It's probably going to come out bigger, like 0.25 for you. So you just press Enter, and then you can change it right there. So it's 0 0.0625. If it came out bigger than that, it's going to give you like a red one, like as if there's a problem. So just press Enter and then type 0 0.625. And then you can easily go and select the other parts that are that same. There we go. So now I've got my profile. So we just need to revolve it. So we got our wheel ready to go. Uh, let me look at the back of the wheel. And I'm going to create a sketch on there. This is where I'll put my pattern. 
So with that pattern, I need uh, three lines. I need a line to represent horizontal, I hit escape, click the line tool again, and then two diagonal lines, escape. The length does not matter one bit because we're going to trim it off with uh, scissors anyways. What does matter is the angle it sits at. So this first one is a 15 degree angle. And the second one is a 30 degree angle. The next part of that is the arches. And if you look at the drawing, we have two radiuses, 0.375 and 0.625. Now those are radiuses. I'm going to use the circle tool here. There's, of course, other ways that you could do this, but that's the way I'm going to approach it. The smaller one is 0.75. So point, I mean, sorry, 0.375. Again, it's calling it out as a radius, but I'm calling it out as a diameter. So I need to put times two. Same thing for my next one, 0.625 times two. Now I'm going to trim everything up that I don't want. I'm going to cut that. Cut that, this, oh, when you're done with it, you should have like this arched rectangle look. I'm not going to finish sketch because I want to pattern it with a circular pattern. So I want the four edges I just did. And I want this to be times six. There we go. And then I'll extrude all of them as a cut. Oh, it's a remove, silly thing. I am pretty much done. All you need to do now is to start a sketch from the front view and make the peg. Um, it's got three extrusions to it. I'll pretty much leave you to do that on your own. You don't need my help at all. There you go. Once you're done, let me know and I can uh, check it off and add it to the gradebook. And of course, if you have any questions, always feel free to ask. Um, and if you're nervous about asking your teacher, ask a friend. Don't sit there stuck forever. Get some help.